Hi, this is Maria from Maddie's Way of Life. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing cash budget and my week starts on a Wednesday. So we're going to work through that and then it goes all the way to Tuesday. And the only reason why I start on Wednesdays is because my husband gets paid today. We are a family of four and I help my parents when possible. With my paycheck, I do the major bill payments. But today we're going to focus only on the weekly cash flow. I am excited because the check today is, is bigger than what it has been lately since quarantine started. And that's exciting. But at the same time, today we had another plumbing issue here in the house. So even though I, I worked with the budget with my husband yesterday, today things have changed drastically but I'm still going to follow what we had planned yesterday. So I'll tell you a little bit more as soon as I, you can see how my numbers look today. So just remember these numbers are real numbers and I, I don't have time to do fake budgets or mock budgets. I am going to go straight to my budget sheet right here. And this is one that I use and cannot do without. If you are interested in any of the inserts, that are not part of the ha big happy planner they are in my etsy shop so let's get started first of all he got paid uh th this morning which was which is 7 1 20 and we budgeted yesterday what well, was technically today but he got home at 2 a.m and we noticed there was a plumbing issue so i haven't really slept because we we're trying to figure it out. And that's a story for another day, but technically it's been today that we budget. So anyway, let's get started with this one because I feel like I'm a little bit too chatty just because I have so many things in my mind right now. Let me try and refocus my attention to this. So I'm gonna look at my notes. I really need them because, well, things happen. This time we are budgeting out of 884. For groceries this week, I am going to do $200. This is for the wallet, okay? Then we are moving on to gasoline. And this week, we only need $50. And that is for a Costco cash card, but we'll just say wallet because my husband has to go get it regardless. Then for spending, It's 40 for my husband and 40 for me, $80 for our wallets. Then I am going to do an eating out one because we like to go to this Korean place every time he gets paid. Today was a little chaotic, so we're going to have it until tomorrow. And that's um, eating out wallet. And if you remember my old budgets and you've been here for a while, you know that eating out what's typically a little bit more than this. Uh, for now, you know, it's starting to build up. It's starting to look like a good amount so I can do this. Next week, things might look a lot different. But for now, this is what we can do. This week, there's a bill payment for, uh, and this is online, for $150. Then I have an afterpay. I used after pay for something I don't even remember at this point, but I have them. Um, so this one will be an online payment for $18. Then I have another bill payment. And this one is cash because I give that to my brother. So that will go in our wallets for now or in a little mini cash envelope. And this one right here is $50. Then I have, no, there's something else. Oh, in my bank account, I am going to try and build up to replace in my emergency fund because we had to dig in there. Well, we technically pay until tomorrow, but I just want to make sure we have some in there. And this is going to be online. 
And once I build up that money, then I'll pull it out to put it back into my emergency fund envelope. I need to replace or add. Oh no, I just saw a fly, sorry. Um, that's disgusting, I can't stand it. All right, <laughs> all right, I was trying to focus and then a fly happened and I couldn't find it. But anyway, uh, I need to replace money from my 52 week challenge because we had a dental appointment and I totally forgot to pull up money for that and I didn't wanna put it on a credit card. So I want to replace $25, I think I had to pay 40. So I kind of used all the leftovers, leftover money that I had in my cash wallet so that I can pay off in the dental office and I still ended up grabbing from here as well. So I'm just going to replace that money and that's okay. I just didn't want to put all of my out of my emergency when it's just easier for me to do this. Then the other thing that I need, this is for a sinking fund and then I want to buy Herbalife and that one is the half gallon I want to say is 81 total and this one is an online purchase I really need that this is so good for my little girl's stomach we have been having health issues and that has really helped her so I want to make sure I don't run out of that and usually I'm the one that drinks it and I do a uh, a tea mixture uh, but now she's using it and uh she's that's that has been soothing her stomach and i'm so happy about that anyway moving on i am going to leave a blank hopefully i have enough space i'll just keep going and then i need 52 <laughs> week challenge and that one will be a sinking fund and I think we're week 27th. Hopefully I'm not mistaken. And then I am going to start a July challenge with Christina. I follow her on Instagram and I am obsessed with her stories. I just, I don't know. It's like everything she so shows is aesthetically pleasing and she sells pouches. I'm obsessed with watching her. I love how she shares her world and I, I just love watching her. And anyway, she's starting a July challenge. I didn't get the worksheet, but I made it work for me. So I kind of divided money in the five weeks that we have in July. This first week, I am going to add $55. So this will be a sinking fund, which is a really good thing because I think if I do the five weeks, I will get $600. I think her challenge is for a $500 one, but I just added a little bit more to make it work for me. And I'm going to push to see if this really happens. So at the end of July, I should have, what is it? $600, like I said. And all I did was the first week I'm going to do 55, then 77. And that says 92, 156. The last one is the hardest, 220. But <laughs> I have great hopes that I'm going to be able to accomplish that. We shall see. I don't, I don't even know what I'm using these two for yet, but it, it's kind of nice to do these challenges. Then I want to start putting away for IRS bill coming up in January when we do our taxes. Then this one, IRS, I think I said if I put in like $8 or so a week, I will be fine then I want to start a dental fund because my girl needs braces. That's a really big bill. And honestly, I didn't divide it by anything. I just kind of want to add $5 for now, just so that I can get started. And that's a sinking fund. Property taxes. I want to start building up for that as well. And those come around May. And that I said, I think around $8. And what I do when I mean I said, or I did, it means that I went in, I looked at the total, divided it by the months, then divided it by the weeks. And that way it kind of gives me an estimate of how much I need to build up to that amount. Now, if I miss a week, that's going to affect all of this. So I don't know what's going to happen financially with my husband's check, but I have hopes that I will be able to fulfill these sinking funds. So crossing my fingers that that will happen. All right. Property taxes, $8, sinking fund, gifts. I have a couple of birthdays coming up and I keep grabbing it from like other 
envelopes in my wallet and I'm just tired of it. So I'm going to need this week actually $40. And then our optometrist appointment is every December and I want to build up to that because both my daughter and I need glasses. I am glad I didn't skip a line because I was cutting it really close. All right, now I want to go through and just double check what needs online to stay online. That will be this one right here, this one right here, right here. I should have really pulled that money out, but it's fine. And then I have one right here. So I don't need to pull out cash for that. Let's go ahead and do this part right here. I want to do groceries to $100 bills, then gasoline, $150 bill. Then for spending, I want four. Eating out, $120, $15. Moving down over here, $150 bill. This one, I'm gonna need $120, $15. This one right here, $120. Yes, $15, $2. Hopefully I'm doing this right. <laughs> and then, I'm doing 150, yeah, for the challenge, 150 and 15, $55. Then 15, $3, 15, 15, $3. And then in this 40, I will do two 20s. I'll probably need to deposit that back because I wanna get an Amazon gift. I didn't even process that information. Okay, so this one is going to be, I guess, two 20s for now. And the last one, optometrist, is 12, so I'll do 110 and $2, okay? Let's count this, it's a total of two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Three and three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, if I do this over here, it'll be ten dollars. This one, seven times five, thirty-five dollars. Then we have only one bill of ten is ten dollars. Nine twenties is one hundred and eighty dollars. Then three fifties is one hundred fifty and two hundred. I'm gonna add this, I'm gonna add this, then I'm gonna subtract from each other and see how that goes. Let's see, let's start over here. We're going to do 200 plus 150 plus 180 plus 10 plus 10 plus 35 plus 10 equals 585. All right, somehow I feel like that's wrong, but we will see. 200 plus 50 plus 80 plus 25 plus 150 plus 18 plus 50 plus 50 plus 25 plus 81 plus 27 plus 55 plus 8 plus 5 plus 8 plus 40 plus 12. And yes, okay, I was a little worried right now. 884, we're going to subtract the online payments because we didn't deduct them to get for, or we didn't pull them out to get for cash. So let's do 884, subtract 81, minus 81, mm, minus 50, minus 18, minus 150, it should give me 585. Yes, perfect, oh my gosh, yes. 585, I get so excited over correct numbers. Now that we have this, the, the following step is to get my new, my new, yeah, well it's new because I made it today. My new card and I want to get $585.
seven one twenty. All right, and we have bills two three nine one two three nine one seven and is this a ten? Yes, ten. No coins. Totals will be two hundred. 150, 180, 150, 180, 10, 35, 10, no coins. The total should be $585. Two, three, nine, one, two, three, nine, one, seven, ten. 200, 150, 180, 10. 35 10 okay that looks good now this is what my husband takes to the bank and then we should start stuffing our sinking funds and our wallet and that's really exciting because i have not done sinking funds in a long while so this he will take to the bank okay let's bring in the cash and start stuffing our cash envelopes i'm really okay, excited let's about get this. started with this Okay, so we need to have two $100 bills, one, two, three, fifties, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenties, because my husband took his $40. Let's see. Can't fix it. <laughs> one ten seven fives good and how many tens ten ten ones i wish there were tens right Alrighty, let's do it this way okay let's get started with well, let's get started with this up here. Now that I'm ready, I'm going to put this on the side to look at my notes and I'm going to bring in my wallet. And I do have new tabs because I wanted to match my planner. I changed my planner in here. So let's take a look at this. We have, let me pull that up. Okay, spending and spending for spending you see a baby there's a fly let me go ahead and take care of that fly give me one sec okay for spending I get $40 so today is 7 1 and then it's a deposit of plus 40 balance of 40 let's grab that like that then we're doing eating now 25. Bye. Okay. 25. Right there. Groceries, we're going to do $200 and I decided to do two $100 bills just because I wanted to replace some of the 20s in my savings, um, what is it, envelope, just because it's a little bit too full. Okay, so this is $200 for groceries, and that would be seven one deposit plus 200, balance 200. 
Then we move on to gasoline, and in gasoline is fifty dollars seven one deposit plus fifty balance of fifty. Okay, and that would be is that one fifty dollar bill? I forgot. Yeah. All right. Well, good. Now this is what goes in my wallet. I will go ahead and put it back in here, like so. And I'll just pull that one. I like it to look a little bit straight. Like so okay so this is it for my wallet i actually will leave it open because let's go ahead and bring in the insurance money that i pay my brother cash and let me grab a mini envelope for that okay i'm going to put in one of my mini envelopes and i'm just going to grab a 50 dollars bill and i like to put a little post-it for him just so that when he picks it up he has this one second, baby girl. All right, so we'll put this in here. Like that, and that way he'll have this ready for him. And I found one that I had in my mini happy planner or my mini notes planner. Do you want to give me that, Camila, so I can show them? It's the mini one. Okay. Yep. It's easy to get to that one, huh? <laughs> so what I used to have is I use this one, and I will, oh, he, I even have one here. Let's hope, let's see if we have cash. Do we have cash? Um, no cash in here. Oh, so sad, but <laughs> it goes, they go straight in here. And I used to sell these too. I hope that I can open my Etsy shop soon because I love doing these. Anyway, I used to use that in here and I don't use that one any longer or not for now until I go back to work. But for now, I'm just going to, actually, I don't like how that looks. So I'm just going to put it in here in hopes that it doesn't look bad. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to deal with it for now. It's not that bad, but still that way, whenever I head over there, I can just drop it off for him. Okay. So this right here is what I now carry because it has my planner and I, I just like it's too cute. Okay. So my wallet is done and yay. I'm excited for that. Let's fix this really quick and bring my $5 bills to this side. Alrighty. Let's start with our sinking funds. I'm excited about that. Alrighty. Let's, I have so many things here on my desk. I'm a little bit overwhelmed uh, just because, well, I keep bringing things out. All right. Let's do this one. If you have seen my videos before you know that I didn't have an envelope for the 30 day not the 30 day challenge the 52 week challenge I used to use one of a Mickey pouch and now I have one and I'm excited about it so what I did is I ended up doing this because I was frustrated every week and when I counted things off I had 341 and somehow the 26 week was supposed to be 351 so I ended up adding right now they're supposed to be 351 here but when i was doing my budget i told you that we are adding 25 dollars. i think yes to make sure that there are 351 here because i removed some to pay for a dental visit so i'm gonna grab 25 and that's the first thing i want to do and bring them in here let's see it's a hot mess because I was trying to figure things out. So let's see. All right, guys, I don't know if I'm a little bit out of breath right now, but this is the third time someone brings my doorbell and it's because I live in an amazing community and they're trying to take care of me and my girls because they know my husband's not here and they know I have plumbing issues. So they just want to make sure I'm okay. And they, <laughs> it's, it's an amazing community. Um, they just brought me fruit. And then right when I had started my video, they brought me soup. 
they're just i am so blessed to live here they're just really cool people but at the same time i'm so sorry if i'm a little bit off or this is not flowing i hope that it's it is really flowing because i really feel like i want to restart everything but i have to keep moving so let's do this what am i doing right here okay so i'm putting 20 and then 10 and then my fives and then my ones okay let's see this 100 200 300 320 330 35 40 45 46 47 48 49 50 59 3 59 51 351 is that what we said yes 351 perfect so that is just to replace what i took okay and it has happened multiple times now but i still make sure i put it back because i don't want to i want to be able to meet this challenge so i'm excited about this so 351 are here this is the 27th week this week so i need to put in 27 additional dollars which will give me 600 no sorry 27 which will give me 378 so let's go ahead and bring the 27 dollars 20 25 26 27 so let's put that in there and let's not make a mess out of this again and here and right in here and because i panic about things let's just count one more time one two three three hundred twenty forty fifty sixty seventy seventy one seventy two seventy three seventy four seventy five and six seventy seven seventy eight three hundred seventy eight for the twenty seventh week i am clear all right good all of this is going into my 52 week challenge in here all right it feels good to have an envelope this one right here is for my 30 day challenge um which i'm calling it a july challenge because i started in july and this time around 55 going here so i'm going to grab my 50 dollar bill here moving that up and a five so for this time it's just 55 in here i feel like there was money in there okay done now i need to move on to my irs money right here and i want to add eight dollars in here five six seven eight perfect irs done then i want to add to my dental five dollars but i don't think i have a dental i want to say i want to put it in my let me see if i have a dental i don't think i do but I am okay with adding, no, I don't. I want to add it to health. For sure I have health, which will be okay. I just hope I remember every week to pull that one out. Okay, here it is. Health and co-payments, it's empty right now. We're just going to add five buckaroonies in here. Okay, so that's in there. Then I want to add for property taxes. I did create an envelope and it's right here. Property taxes, oopsie, sorry. Property taxes would be a dollar, so that's five. Eight dollars. And then for gifts, I want to add forty dollars for gifts. Oh, did I pass it? You would think I know my alphabet. Huh, is it right? Oh, it's right here. Okay. <laughs> Gives is $40. That's two. 20s. And then for optometrist, I want to put in 
twelve dollars perfect yay 10 11 12 omg what is this oh i have news to tell you i did this on purpose so i would remember well i don't know if i'm excited but i dumped 200 dollars in here from my appliances so i no longer have the 200 dollars under appliances we moved the sinking funds to optometrist and we're adding $12 to that. I need 500 by December. So the reason being is my friend, which I have to contact right now, is giving me her, giving me her dryer and her, uh, what is it, washer, because she just moved, she just bought a new home and they already had appliances there and hers are in really good condition. So lucky me, I am getting those from her and she's totally gifting me that so i am really excited because you know you know what i've been through here and i i mean all my fault too because i could have gone in a while back but we're not going to go through that story for those of you that don't know you don't need to know because i don't need you to lose trust in my financial decisions so <laughs> i'm going to keep moving forward i'm sorry that it probably is going to be a little choppy but sometimes, you know, I think that and it'll be fine. But if it is, I truly apologize. Please don't run away. I'm still, I'm still good. I promise you we're fine. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to comment down below. Thank you so much for being here. I want to make sure I'm connecting with you guys. I appreciate your support with these videos because I know they are one of the most viewed, most liked, and that makes me really happy. Just so that you know, true story, these are one of the hardest videos for me to film because I know somehow I'm going to make a mistake and I typically do but fortunately for me this has worked and I'm good to go anyway I'm gonna let you go now because I want to stop chopping up this video and now I'm getting a phone call as well so I just want to let you know that I love you guys I want you to take care of yourself and stay in good health but more than anything God bless. Bye.